So our recommendation to you, if you know that you want to go overseas and that's your goal, so if you say, hey, you know, I want to be a professional player, we recommend you start learning another language as soon as possible, of course. Now, let's say that's not possible, but you're getting a little bit older and you know you still want to go overseas. Okay, maybe you have a trial coming up, or you have a specific area you want to try and get to, or maybe a training experience, right? Maybe you know that in six months you're going to go overseas to France. Okay, so take this time to invest in yourself. Six months to a year, right? Especially if you know you have a trial coming up or you want to go overseas, take the time to invest in yourself. Because if you're serious about reaching the pro level internationally, you just learned that any of the top leagues we just mentioned before, their country doesn't speak English as the primary language. So show that you actually care a little bit, right? You need to find ways to stand out. Especially being an, an American player, you're going to be at a disadvantage. Most places around the world don't think Americans are very good at football or soccer. So give yourself an edge. Speak at least some part of the language, right? Invest six months. Practice, practice, practice. A minimum of 30 minutes a day. Make as many conversations as you can. And you're going to see a completely different it's going to be completely different for you. You're going to be well above where you should have been because imagine you go overseas and you don't know a word of the language. How are you going to communicate with anybody? But you go overseas to Spain as the example and you're able to have conversations with people. Game changing. You're going to be happier. Your life's going to be easier. And that's all because you prepared ahead of time and took the time to invest in yourself outside of just the football. Now, you're also going to want to make sure you have the game-relatable skills as well, you know, the keywords that we're going to give you in the next slide, right? But make sure you have those and you know what they are in the language that you need to speak. That will be very, very helpful for you moving forward, okay? Because, again, you need to be able to give basic commands to your teammates. Ball, pass, look left, look right, cross, right? Those type of ideas, you need to be able to give them the, that information, okay? See you in the next video.